Good morning. My name is Chris Hogan, founder and CEO of Me Media. It's time to get fact up. Thanks for tuning in, Australia. This morning, we've got news on how to get your micro news. We'll be talking about Twitter and Instagram. Twitter recently announced its Q4 earning, and while revenue was up around 48% year on year, its user base has stalled, and the stock has fallen nearly 70% in the last year alone. And Twitter is definitely feeling the heat. Just like us here in Australia at 37 degrees. And in an effort to meaningfully attract and engage a loyal user base, Twitter has come out with some new features. But some of the older, loyal Twitter fans just aren't ready for this new change. Like this timeline update that caused a little outrage this month. Twitter rolled out a new algorithmic update to your timeline that will put recommended tweets at the top above recent tweets. This news sent users into a frenzy that soon had hashtag rip Twitter trending. Twitter has always been known for real time and many users didn't want to lose the romantic idea of having rivers of data flowing down their timeline completely unfiltered. On the flip side, this algorithm actually helps users sort through the timeline chaos to help users find what they are interested in faster and with less effort. It decides what to post at the top of the timeline based on tweets you interact with, topics you're interested in, and the activity of people who are similar to you. It basically mimics how we interact in normal life, like catching up with friends after you haven't seen them in a while. And it will help users with less followers feel the love by pushing their content to the top of their followers' timelines. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey responded to outraged users with a tweet explaining that real time will still be at the core experience of using Twitter. He also went on to say that this update is completely controlled by the user, whereby you can opt in or out at any time. This change has been built on the while you're away filter, which has been in place for some time time now. And Twitter hasn't stopped giving. In efforts to re-energize and lift stocks, Twitter is encouraging people to stay on the service by allowing people to post more content, like 10,000 characters more. Nothing has been confirmed by Twitter, but rumors are that Twitter plans to launch the feature in March that will allow users the option to post longer content. It wouldn't interrupt the interface of Twitter. Instead, it would just have a read more option to continue reading content if interested. We're sure Twitter is hoping this will increase the value of users to advertisers and boost engagement with the site's other features. And great news for advertisers. Twitter has just announced a new product called First View. First view are video ads, basically promoted video posts that let advertisers who pay for the first view option to appear first in the Twitter ad network. So basically, the advertiser will get the top ad spot the first time a person opens Twitter for a period of 24 hours. This new feature will be rolled out in the United States initially on mobile and desktop apps, as well as Twitter.com, and we can expect it to come our way in the near future. And to top it all off, Twitter has announced that they'll be improving their harassment and cyberbullying policies on their platform, which is great news. So that wraps up this week's Get Fact Up. Uh, hang on a minute. No, I think we said we we're also gonna do Instagram, right? Can't forget them. On February 8th, Instagram announced an awesome new feature that marketers have been crying out for. And that is an awesome update to their 7.15 version of their iOS app and Android app that's going to allow you to manage multiple accounts. Yes! Finally. You can check out the link in this blog on how to add a new account. It's super easy and it's just a matter of going into your settings. On behalf of all marketers, I'm sure we can say that this is awesome news and thank you, Instagram. So thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next week, Australia. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! All right.